Hello students. Welcome back to asha.academy. Here are a few questions, practice questions for assertion and reasoning for class 12. The very first question, look at this one. Statement one, Dr. Sadao Hoki's house was built on a spot of the Japanese crest. Statement two, he as a little boy, he had often played. So these two are the statements that have been given here and a few options have been given here. You need to select the right answer. Read the statement, Dr. Sadao Hoki's house was built on a spot of the Japanese crest. Yes, that's right. He, as a little boy, he had often played there. Yes, that is also right. So now read the options. Statement one is false, but statement two is true. You can rule it out. Statement one is true, but statement two is false. Again, you can rule it out. Both statement one and statement two cannot be inferred. That is wrong. Both statement one and statement two can be inferred. Yes, what's the meaning of inferred here? First of all, you can come to a conclusion. If you have read the lesson, for sure you'll get to know what is the right answer. Be clear with the concept and the story as well as the characters given there in the lesson. So here both statement one and two can be inferred. That's the right answer. Bingo, you do get marks for this one, superb. Okay, the next one, statement, that is the second question. Statement one, the old gardener told that the white man was shot first. Yes, that's right. Statement two, the old gardener told that both Sadao and Hannah were against nature, which wounded him. Yes, he told the same statement. Nature harmed him. Nature harmed the white man, Tom. But these two, they helped him out. So statement one is false, but statement two is true. Statement one is true, but statement two is false. Both statement one and statement two cannot be inferred. Both statement one and two can be inferred. Yes, option D is the correct answer. You can come to a conclusion if you have read the question, the lesson properly. So better read the lesson in and out, read the lesson thoroughly. Okay, and now the next question. Statement one, people who live in Simapuri are squatters who came from Bangladesh back in 1971. Statement two, Mukesh family is among them. Read the statements properly. People who live in Simapuri are squatters who came from Bangladesh back in 1971. That's correct. Yes, they came from Bangladesh. They occupied the place called Simapuri. Mukesh family is among them. No, not at all. Actually, Mukesh comes there in the second part of the lesson. This lesson, Lost Spring, has been divided into two parts. Two stories have been given there. So Mukesh comes there in the second part. So this is wrong. This is false. So statement one is false, but statement two is true. Statement one is true, but statement two is false. Both statement one and two cannot be inferred. Both statement one and statement two can be inferred, which is the right answer. Both uh, here, statement one is true, but statement two is false. If you have got this as the answer, then bingo again, you do get marks for this question. The next one, fourth question, statement one, William Douglas had aversion to water. Did he? Yes. He had aversion to water. The second statement, when he was three or four, William Douglas was knocked down by forceful water waves in California. Yes, along with his father, when he went to the beach, he was knocked down by the water waves. Yes, that's also right. So statement one is true, but statement two is false. You can easily rule it out. Statement one is false, but statement two is true. Again, you can rule it out. Statement one is the cause and statement two is the effect. Statement two is the cause and statement two is the 
Okay. So for question number four, option D is the correct answer. So statement two is the cause. What is the reason behind the aversion? What he had developed here? What is the reason? Because at the age of three or four, he was knocked down by forceful waterways. Yes. Uh, so the answer is statement two is the cause and statement one is the effect. Yes. Okay. Next, come to the fifth question. She looked at her mother. Question number five. She looked at her mother who was like a late winter's moon. Statement two. The boy felt that familiar ache had crept in. Read the answer. I'll question you now. Statement one is false, but statement two is true. Statement one is true, but statement two is false. Statement one is the cause and statement two is effect. Both statement one and statement two can be inferred, which is the right answer for question number five. If your answers are other than C, then you are wrong. Then tuppy, tuppy, tuppy. <laughs> your answer is wrong. Statement one is the cause and statement two is effect. So here, statement one is the cause and statement two is the effect. So here, statement that is option C is the correct answer yes so this is the reason when her mother became really very old she had developed the familiar ache so option c is the correct answer and now the next one question number six Governor, statement one, governor, inspector and visitor may take an initiative to bridge the gap between haves and have-nots. Is that so? Yes. Statement two, the rich people help the slum children in removing social injustice and class inequalities. So statement one is false, but statement two is true. Statement one is true, but statement two is false. Both statement one and statement two cannot be inferred. Both statement one and statement two can be inferred, which is the right answer. Option B, statement one is true. Yes, these officers try to bridge the gap between haves and have-nots. But statement two, do you think that the rich people will help them in removing social injustice and class inequalities? No, not at all. Yes, it's not given there in that poem. Okay, fine. So these are all the questions for practice. So I do believe that you uh, really do like this practice question papers. Please do like, share and comment about this one from Asha Academy. Thank you.